Hi there, this is Ross at Woodfire Power. Thank you for tuning in again. I am posting some videos for Andrew Yang as the new of you have tuned in, but in the past I've been posting videos about turbines and science and energy and all kinds of things like that. So I don't want to you know, completely shift the channel. That's really my focus, and Andrew Yang is something, you know, political interest that I have at present. So I will be doing a bunch of videos about Andrew Yang as Ari and I travel around the country. However, I am first and foremost a, a mechanical engineer scientist, and so I want to continue posting videos now that I can finally again and so this one that I'm posting is about uh, nuclear fusion being driven by cavitation and these are attempts that I was making a decade ago 15-20 years ago and the uh, device you're looking at now has um, deuterated acetone in it and there are little cavitation events going on as the liquid is being increasingly degassed. The silver band around the almost the base is a piezoelectric crystal which is expanding and collapsing the cylinder and then that is causing uh, cavitation events to happen inside the liquid. Behind the cell on the right side just on top of the wood you can see a uh, little white cylinder and that's actually a neutron source and now what you can see are cavitation events where the neutrons are striking individual nuclei within the liquid and that creates a tiny nanometer scale uh, cavity of vapor and then the acoustics rip that vapor open and slam it shut. So you can see and hear the cavitation events taking place. Now, we scaled that up. Um, that was an experiment by someone else and it never did work. We, uh, I ran that cell for a couple thousand hours and it did not work as far as I'm concerned. What we did is to scale up the pressure intensity by using a stainless steel sphere. This was a three quarter inch thick wall about the size of a basketball, 10 inches. And the two hemispheres were electron beam welded to create a uh, basically a solid steel sphere with acoustic drivers. You can see there one has the label B on it and there's another one to the back side. Again, to the rear of the sphere, you can see that white uh, cylinder. That's the neutron source. And in this first video, what you could see was that the cavitation events began to take place as the pressure was raised. So the pressure was negative, and that was degassing the liquid. Once it was degassed sufficiently, then the pressure was increased, and the cavitation events began to take place and you can hear them as loud pings. This is a big stainless steel sphere and you can actually hear, you can see light flashes through a window and you can feel with your fingers and hands the cavitation events. In this video what you can see is that same white neutron source being brought close to and far away from the stainless steel sphere and so you can hear how uh, the rate of neutron impacts on the nuclei of the liquid inside the sphere goes up and down as the neutron source is brought close and far away. The, um, at the end of the video you'll see the uh, neutron source be tracked further away and then you'll see my face in there for what that's worth. And, um, what this demonstrated was that you could drive really super intense cavitation events by uh, using a stainless steel sphere and a liquid and cavitation. And the goal was to get to uh, fusion conditions, which means about 100 million degrees Celsius and about 1 billion atmospheres of pressure. So 
in future videos I'll show you some of the data that I obtained from these stainless steel spheres where the shock waves were moving out at up to 10 times the speed of sound in water so like 1500 meters per second and using uh, point explosion mathematics you can calculate that if that's in fact what was going on the point explosions had to have originated from uh, points where the pressures were in the realm of about one billion atmospheres of pressure otherwise the shock waves couldn't have gotten out to where they were observed to be and I'll show you some pictures of the shock waves um, so I just want to let the people in the subscription list who are interested in technology things know that I do intend to continue posting technology pieces now that I'm past the restrictions in my income I can start earning more money so I'm gonna uh, start doing some more with the channel again and uh, some of the technologies that I will start talking to you about will be electric vehicle technologies tunnels for electric vehicles and why those are going to work a brand new fire engine technology that I believe can replace all of the fire engines on the planet with new technology or at least they'll add the technology to the fire engines and um, numerous other things that I've worked on and or um, continue working on as things move forward so this will be in part at least for this year um, a little bit of my politics with Ari and I driving around the country for Andrew Yang, but I will add in some interesting science things that are go way beyond anything that I was ever able to post in the past. So thank you very much for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll talk to you soon.